Right, welcome to today's episode of Testing the Tips, where in today's video we're going to do one simple thing, and I'm going to show you how to use some effective methods to improve your ball striking with these things in hand. These things are, of course, hybrids, and whilst they can be a great help to many golfers, I want to make sure in today's video that you've got some basic fundamentals in place to make sure you're getting the optimum performance when you've got a hybrid in hand. Right, so let me start by saying this video comes from the art of simple golf, so if you want to see the full and detailed explanation then make sure you go and check out the link in the description below but for this it is my of course interpretation of that video tip and it's very very simple and straightforward and there's a couple of stages to it what we're going to do is we'll start off with the fundamentals very very basic is all about the setup now i know this can be a bit boring at times but it's really important that we get this bit right and particularly with hybrid where for me having watched the video it would probably change from where i would have normally had my ball position to start with and that's key as you know to making sure we get the most out of these hybrids because what we're looking to do we want to use the bounce on this club and we want to use the cg we want to use everything that we've got the benefits that this offers over a long iron well, it's good, but you've got to make sure you're set up in the correct position to get the most out of that hybrid. Like I said, we're going to start off with a ball position. You're going to need either an alignment stick or a golf club laid down in front of you. We've got a good strong line that you can see there, which is this yellow line, which is centre of my stance. And then you'll notice where the ball position is. And I would say it's between the yellow line and my lead front foot, sort of halfway in between the two. And if you're going off your lead foot, maybe a couple of hybrid club heads back in terms of the width from my lead foot. Hope that made sense and I'm sure from the visual it will. Now, I said that's a bit different because for me, I'd have probably been a little bit more towards the center of my stance. And the second thing is also key, and that's the hand position. They want to be in a fairly neutral position. So what that means is we don't want them leaning forward, we don't want them leaning back, and what that also means is we don't want a descending blow, nor do we want to hit in this thing on the upswing. It needs to be very much a neutral angle of attack using that bounce, using that uh, CG to get this ball launching airborne. So what you're gonna do is your hands are gonna be positioned. If we've got center of my sternum is on the yellow line, then we want our hands pretty much in line with the ball itself, which is on my lead front chest, my left chest. And we're gonna simply make sure that we're in that position there, not forward, not behind, just sitting nice and balanced over my lead left chest. All simple and straightforward, like I said, so far. Before we hit a ball, we're gonna do one more thing, and this will certainly aid people who've got any sort of restrictions in their movements or their um, ability to get through the swing, maybe for older golfers, is just flare out that front lead foot. Now you'll see that on a lot of videos, particularly if you want to try and help with your driving. I've seen that on a number of occasions. But what we're looking at here is the ability to, again, just rotate through this swing a little bit easier and make hitting hybrid just that bit more simple. So, quick recap, ball, two club heads back from the lead foot, hands very much in front with the, uh, with the left chest, not leaning forward, not leaning back, flare out the front foot, and then we've got to do this. Now, that's a real good strike in terms of, the big thing I've noticed since I've been trying this off camera is my strike quality has improved significantly. It feels very neutral in terms of when I've hit the ball well, I'm not feeling any mat, and I'm not certainly feeling it either before nor after the ball, I'm just clipping that ball nice off the top. So, dead, dead simple, but really important, get those fundamentals right in terms of your setup. That is stage one of making sure you start to strike your hybrids far better than perhaps you are currently. Right, so very simple to start with, and we've moved the alignment stick, and uh, I've actually placed the ball on a tee as well for this next element they're going to look at, because although we talk about arriving in that kind of neutral position, that kind of not hands forward, not hands back, that's all good, but how do we try and what can we take from this tip in terms of a way we can concentrate our efforts in doing that? Well, first of all, Alex explains that we've got to get those fundamentals right and we can't use the, um, the benefits that you find in a hybrid unless we get that sort of ball position right, hand position right. But once we've got there, trying to find that low point and return into that low point in terms of our strike location, Alex talks, which is a really good thing in my opinion, he says he doesn't want the, the sort of hands to win the race and he doesn't want the club head to win the race. 
And what it basically means by that is we don't want to be hitting a descending blow if the, the hands get there first and we start to smother the shot a little bit, deal off the club, and then vice versa. He doesn't want to sort of flip in that ball, trying to get it airborne, and therefore the club head winning the race. So what we've got to try and do is we've got to arrive at that impact location with a straight leading arm uh, leading into the club face straight down so our low point being the point in which we impact the ball in very much a neutral position. Hope that makes sense. The way we're going to do that is quite simple. That's all we're going to focus on is trying to come back and arrive in at, the low, at that ball with that left lead arm straight down into the club head into the ball at impact before we start to come through. So no flipping up, don't be trying to get this, let the loft on the club. What a hybrid is really good at is getting the ball airborne because of the width of sole and that CG right at the very back. The club head will do it. And you see a lot of golfers trying to help that ball up in the air and vice versa. What you don't want to do is start coming down, shifting your weight over, smothering the club, de-lofting, and yet again, negating all the benefits that a hybrid offers over a long iron. So let's just try that first of all with one concentration and that concentration being arriving sort of at the ball as neutral as possible in terms of our low point. Now first of all, that's a super strike. <laughs> So really pleased with what's just happened there in terms of with the camera being on. I know for a fact that there was, well, there was no interaction with the mat whatsoever, even before nor after. What's really interesting, if we go back and see the, um, the first screenshot of what we got off Trackman from just our alignment thing, then we realize that you'll see that the, um, the, the low point in the swing was absolutely perfect. That zero, zero number means that we've hit the ball in the exact position that we want it to, so neither before nor after. Just a quick glance back at the screen there. It's interesting because we've just, it suggests a slightly descending blow, so therefore my low point slightly one inch after the, um, the ball. So what that tells you from Trackman is, although I feel really good and I felt as though I've hit that in a neutral position, there's a slight descending blow, so something we can certainly work on. But the final stage is this. I'll get another golf ball. And the final stage is all about, like, sort of, um, I've, through all the videos that we've done so far in terms of testing the tips, what I've noticed is definitely a correlation between them all. And there's some things that you're doing video A that you do in video B and starting to understand all those elements certainly helps you to understand the golf swing throughout from the top right the way through the swing. And this is another one where what we're looking to do, another exercise is we're looking to get through that, um, through the ball at impact and make sure that we get, um, keep that extension going through and our, our lead arms traveling through butt head of the club club head as far away from the body as we can be for as long as we can be another video that we've covered and what alex just talks about is making sure that we focus on really three things and that's our belt buckle our chest facing the target and then just a little bit that third one just a little bit of a push off with that um, heel at rear heel that is and making sure that we're just sort of uh, propelling ourselves if you like through the shot and that's a final element and, and that just makes that life a little bit easier I don't think on point B I flared my uh, lead heel I don't think on the first one so we've got all them fundamental setups in place hands are in a very neutral position turning round and then I'm just going to push off and hit the ball and power a little bit through impact we'll try one more whilst we're on and again, really solid strike. I'm really happy with the strike. And one thing I've noticed is just how you could just hear the difference first of all. And I know that for me, I've been advocates of hybrids over long lines for a long, long time. And I think it's really important that we understand as average golfers, these can be a real help. But I also note that a lot of comments where people say they just don't like hybrids. Now, maybe one of the reasons is that you're just not getting those basic fundamentals in your setup correct, which are going to help you make the most and all the benefits that these things offer over long irons. Anyway, I hope that video helped. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, yet again, don't forget, Art of Simple Golf. If you want a more thorough explanation, go and check out Alex's original video. Link will be in the description below. 
Thank you for watching this one. Channel's going really well right now. Uh, a lot of support. You're clearly liking what we're doing, so uh, I would encourage you to carry on subscribing. Notifications bell. Give me some feedback below, and we'll carry on producing these videos. And hopefully, along the way, my game will get a little bit better, and hopefully yours does too. Right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.